Hi everyone, this is Nee from Art Journaling Channel. So I've been doing a lot of interactive journals at the moment and I thought I'd go back to one that I created in 2003. I created this journal when I was living in Ireland with my sister for a year and so I had minimal art supplies with me um, and just collected ephemera as I went. So this was when we'd finished our travels around Europe and came back to Ireland and I was working on putting a memory book of what we'd done together. So it is sacrilege, I do apologise now, but the library was having a sale on Harry Potter books. So this is actually a 50, Euro, a 50 cent um, Harry Potter book which is on sale from the library, which I recovered with some scraps of leather just sewn together with some embroidery thread and just using some tags to spell out travels and some buttons that were sewn onto the the binding so on the inside using old dictionary page and this is the feather i found when i was in gallipoli so we went to gallipoli for anzac day which is in turkey so these are um, pictures that were photocopied out of the, one of the programs that came and with stamping lest we forget and some of the pieces that came. This is a poem that I wrote. Um, I'm not sure if it was when I was at school or during that year. I can't remember quite. And in the background is another photocopy of um, one of the actual journal pages from my travelling journal that I took with me. This is more a commemorative journal that I created. We also went to visit Japan. So again, different pieces that I collected on our travels. I can never remember the name of this woodcut, but it is amazing. Obviously, when you are in Europe, we went to London. Uh, went to see this in the National Gallery, a piece that I saw in one of the galleries, some old postcards, um, which I didn't collect there. They actually came in my little kit with me because I knew I'd be doing something journaling and I think these came from an, uh, an Australian company called Collections. This gold powder in the background is called Schminky Powder, which I bought when I was in Edinburgh. Uh, Amsterdam, we obviously saw a lot of Rembrandt paintings when we were in Amsterdam. And again in Edinburgh with different pieces that I collected and just some things not necessarily that you would see in Edinburgh or see in the countries that we were in but things that reminded me of them. So we went on a tour for example and we saw lots and lots of lichen rocks and beautiful smooth pebbles and stuff so while well, this picture isn't one from Edinburgh it's one that reminds me of being there. This is um, in Ireland with the um, Hail Mary written in Gaelic in the background and this is the Gaelic word air is the Gaelic word for Ireland and on this map is actually all the places we traveled when we were there it was interesting being there as an adult because we left there when I was about 10 years old and because our family is still there we go back and visit our family we never actually travel around the country so it was a chance for my sister and I to actually sightsee in in Ireland and actually see some places we'd never seen before okay. we went to Vienna and again just having that peekaboo page through now I want to make the most of this book. You can see it's quite fragile. And I had to have a bit of a flip off screen just to remember how it actually worked. So this is Paris with a picture that we actually took and writing over it. A lot of the colours that I used were from the Neo Colours 2 um, kit with 10 crayons in it. And those crayons were a lifesaver as we were travelling around. I used to pull out my journal when we were travelling traveling on trains and stuff because it's small and compact but they're so pigmented that the color used to go for a long time. Venice and we managed to get to Venice in the middle of Carnival so we actually got to see lots of these people dressed up 
um, through St Mark's Square. And it's just amazing. And I managed one of my my two purchases I had to do in this trip were to buy a Venetian mask and to buy a Venetian glass pen. And I managed to get both of those, which I was really impressed about. Um, in Florence, just some of the different landscape and the beautiful colours. Reminds me a lot of Australia with the sort of blue-grey, blue-green colours in the background. Now this is a bit I had to remember how it flipped. I think it goes like this. Yep, yeah, it does. Okay, so first page is we when we were in Germany we went to visit Dachau um, which was not traumatic, moving, devastating in the fact that people could do that to other people um, and extremely powerful to, to be in that place and I think it's really important for people to go and visit places like Dachau because if we don't people will forget what happened and it's the same as going to Gallipoli and commemorating what happened there if we don't go if we don't remember stuff like that can happen again which we're seeing at the moment um, so yeah it was it was very very powerful and this is a sketch of one of the sculptures that was in the grounds Barcelona on the other hand oops, so turn it around was a much brighter happier affair and this was um, Familia Sacra, Sacra Familia which is Gaudi's unfinished work and the whole of Barcelona is littered with his beautiful architecture and mosaics, which is why obviously the background was mosaic. And that's just bits and pieces out of an old magazine and sort of colour coded so that it fitted in. And this is the window that you could see in the London page, which is a replica of a Miro painting. So just so it seeped through. So oops moving everything now but this um, I'm really really proud of this journal um, and how it turned out it's something that I hope my girls will be passed down I know it's very very fragile at some stage I will go back and try and strengthen it but I like that it's fragile because it's just like memories memories come and go so um, and I love the fact that it's interactive, that you actually go in and there's secret compartments and the secret pages that you have to go through the book and find. So I hope that's inspired you to um, create your own journal of something important to you. And thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. There's some fun new videos coming up in the near future. See you next time. Bye. Out in the field where the rocket flies Over the earth where my heart lies Oh, how it sings when the west winds blow Out in the field where no one goes Oh, how I'm cold Past now and I roam free. Is it wrong to wish you still need me? Is it wrong?